Gavin Baddeley is an English author who specializes in the dark, decadent, and devilish aspects of Western culture. With the fascinating material presented in an engaging and rather entertaining manner, Baddeley has produced an impressive body of work over the course of the past two decades, beginning in 1999 with Lucifer Rising, a pop culture study of all things satanic. The book covers at length organized Satanism, which emerged amidst the turbulence of 1960s America, but the first third of Lucifer Rising is dedicated to digging up Satanism's cultural roots, which reached deep into the Western world's past. Among the topics explored are Milton's Paradise Lost and the epic poem's reception among the British Romantics. Badly singles Milton out as one of the most important figures in the development of satanic aesthetics and philosophy, explaining with evident relish that Milton Satan achieves a certain dark magnificence, becoming the archetypal anti-hero whose doomed rebellion is the act of a noble, if flawed, character. Baddeley's appreciation for the Miltonic Satan and his significance to the Romantic Age and beyond seemed to expand with each subsequent publication, as the author would write in another work that Paradise Lost is perhaps the most significant work in the satanic literary tradition, and in yet another work would go so far as to assert that if Satanism has a sacred text, then it is Paradise Lost. Gavin Baddeley was kind enough to sit down to discuss his ever-expanding feelings on the curiously sympathetic and sublime Satan out of Paradise Lost and the phenomenon of romantic Satanism which Milton's infernal figure inspired. The witty and irreverent writer had this to say on the subject. It's expanding all the time. I mean, uh, one of the things you can get from that is the sense in which that identifies Satan as being a an icon for the importance of the Western cult of the individual. Because it's very difficult for us to appreciate the level to which um, the vast majority of the population of the world, I mean, in, in the West, didn't really have an identity, which sounds like a crazy thing to say, but you belong to the land, uh, you needed to conform, and that's still true for a large part of the planet, and we escaped from that. That's how the West uh, developed. So many, you know, all the things which we value came from this individualistic revolution. And, uh, and that includes technological innovation, cultural innovation, political innovation. All these things came from this idea that um, potentially everybody matters. Not that everybody matters, but potentially everybody matters. Milton's Satan is an icon for that, an archetype for that. He's an archetype for this Western cult of the individual. And I suppose this is worth uh, putting this into a, a historical context here. So Milton, we're talking about the mid-1600s, yeah? And then we're moving forward to, I mean, the heyday of Romantic Satanism, the early 1800s. These artistic in this case, literary movements are far more significant to Satanism and Satanism's significance than any occult order. You, you can have as many guys in, in dressing gowns in basements as you like, and they will not have a, a you know an iota of the influence of somebody who knows what they're doing with art, literature, film, whatever else. The, the dark arts are the arts. The devil does have the best tunes. He also has the best movies, and uh, you know, and let's hope the best podcasts eventually. <laughs> Christianity um, has, you know, over the years, I mean, over the centuries, I guess, has imagined this, um, the satanic boogeyman, and in their limitation of imagination has imagined that it's what they're like in a funhouse mirror. So they've conjured this version up of what Satanism is, and you'll find it in Dennis Wheatley, you'll find it in modern horror films and everything. It doesn't exist, because, of course, the, the opposite of belief is not belief in something else, the opposite of belief is doubt. Mm -hmm. And that's what Satanism is. Satanism's not the organizations within Satanism, uh, you know, and some of which are significant, uh, are not the thing. And they're important, they're there, but they're not the thing. The thing is like the, the cultural tradition we've been talking about. 
Satanism is kind of a, a form of militant atheism with gothic overtones. It's not to do with some ill-defined figure in an old ancient Hebrew text, largely who's a product of mistranslation. You know, that's kind of, and this is, this is fascinating stuff, this is, these are footnotes. Whereas what you have in the Miltonic Satan is a, an emblem for this idea that you can break out of a, uh, a monolithic, uh, totalitarian system. This is a, 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 a myth that expresses how this happens. And that's, in a sense, is what is important about Satanism. Is it says, you know, you can express yourself, you know, it, it, it's worth doing this regardless of the cost. Sometimes the self is the most important thing. You know, there is something incredibly noble about this. And, you know, and, and it's a selfish thing to do, but it's also a selfless thing to do and a noble thing to do.